So today we're here with Play for Tomorrow. It's a unique hackathon that brings together sports, entrepreneurship, the community, education, all in one package. Actually, it's a three-day event and it's happening here, Palo Alto, and also in Toronto, all at the same time. So we're bringing together really a unique group of people. It's entrepreneurs, it's educators, it's people that work in the community, either in community-based organizations or just volunteer. Uh, there's some students involved and they're really looking to solve a problem really trying to uh, have a real and kind of deep conversation about how do you use sports as a kind of channel and mechanism for change and impact. And so really use it as a way to connect kids both uh, to be physically active, uh, to encourage critical thinking, and really solve a lot of uh, issues and problems and get kids engaged. And it's a really exciting weekend. And then we're spending a full day on Saturday to hack away at the problem. And what that means is thinking about the end result and working backwards, busting down barriers, getting together teams that focus on that, doing different prototypes and design of what the solution might look like. I have a sports analytics startup in town called Edge Up Sports, uh, but I also help to facilitate the sports and technology discussion in town. Uh, and so I'm really familiar with that conversation, but this is kind of a, another lens on that conversation here. And so I'm listening, I'm participating, and uh, you know, really enjoying some of the things that we're learning and the conversation that we're having. Today's event, or even that past three days, has been extraordinary. Um, from the very first day that we came and we got a chance to learn a little bit about the Kauffman Foundation uh, and everything he stood for and, and his great passion for entrepreneurship and education, um, it inspired us. And you know, it was so easy to remember key words like be uncommon or be bold and apply that right away to what we were doing. Uh, we came in um, you know, looking to be collaborative, uh, but be uncommon and really reach out to other people in a way that was gonna be bold. And at the end, they'll put it together in a package and get it ready for a presentation. Tomorrow morning, they're going to present in front of a, a esteemed panel of judges and we'll pick the top three and provide some planning support so they can take that idea from an idea to reality. Well, the immediate next step is uh, looking at everything that happened over these past three days. We understood it wasn't necessarily the $25,000 that was the end goal, but more so the impact that we could have with local community initiatives so that we can uh, take the momentum we got here and you could see it tomorrow in terms of that ripple effect of that positive, uh, positive healthy environment. Mr. Kaufman, uh, through his ownership of the Royals, obviously cared about sports and uh, really saw it as a vehicle for change in, in a lot of ways. Um, but his passion was entrepreneurship and education. So this particular program and, and what was presented to us pulls together all of those elements into one piece. I think having the largest organization focused on education entrepreneurship in the world uh, in Kansas City opens up a lot of bridges and connections and you're actually seeing that in this workshop but really in a lot of other events that happen throughout the year. Million Cups started here because of that. Um, the Kaufman Fellows were started out of that. These are organizations that are impacting on a global level and allow folks to really see you know, out of seven billion people, Kansas City represents just over two million. Uh, we get to participate in much bigger conversations because of that, and that's awesome. Being around his presence, being around his action, um, it just it inspires the future and the youth, and it gets kids to really think that this is an opportunity for, for continuous growth. No matter where you're coming from, no matter uh, race, ethnicity, creed, whatever it may be, you have the opportunity to add to that to be part of uh, the bigger picture, which is continuing to impact this world on a positive note. Yeah. This work and research was funded by the Ewing Marion Kaufman Foundation. The contents of this publication are solely the responsibility of the grantee.